Two years ago CM Punk made his mixed martial arts MMA debut in the UFC when he fought Mickey Gall in a welterweight contest. In 2014 Punk decided to leave his lucrative spot in the WWE as a professional wrestler, citing several issues with the company. He later announced he had signed a multi-fight deal with the UFC and would be pursuing a career as a mixed martial artist. Dedication After spending two straight years training under one of the best camps in the world, Ralph the Sport, which has trained champions such as former 155-pound King Anthony, Showtime, Pettis and current welterweight champion Tyron Woodley, Punk finally made his Octagon debut. He took on Gaul, a Gracia Jiu-Jitsu brown belt, who immediately took Punk to the ground and ushered out some vicious ground and pound. A few minutes later, Punk was forced to tap out to a rear naked choke. Despite the lopsided defeat, Punk expressed his interest in continuing to fight and vowed not to quit. Now, two years later, Punk is gearing up to get into the cage for a second time. The return, he will be fighting fellow 0-1 professional record holder Mike Jackson. Interestingly enough, Jackson's first loss was to Gaul as well. Jackson fought Gaul for the opportunity to welcome Punk into the octagon, but Gaul made quick work of Jackson, finishing him in under a minute. Now, Punk and Jackson will collide on the main card of UFC 225 on pay-per-view, PPV. On a recent edition of Joe Rogan's podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, Rogan commented on the former professional wrestler's fighting career. Rogan described his initial thoughts about Punk fighting all two years ago, quotes via InnoDQ.com, What was really weird watching him walk to the cage was he was approaching it like a pro wrestling fight. Cause he had done so many of these pro wrestling matches that he was walking to the cage with pro wrestling mannerisms and everything and I was watching this and I did like an internal head shake. Like OFK, Rogan said. It was a terrible idea. Whoever on his side said that he could fight Mickey Gall, you're out of your f-king mind. Watch that kid fight once. That kid is very good on the ground. Very good. Stand-up's not bad either. He's tough as ST and he's smart. He's clever and he's mean. Zamin Efkar, Rogan's true feelings He then explained why he doesn't think the fight between Punk and Jackson should take place on the main card of a PPV, it shouldn't even be on the Tuesday Night Contender show. It should be in some amateur event somewhere. That's really what they are. They're guys learning how to compete. They're in the first fight on the pay-per-view. That's F King crazy. What are your thoughts on Rogan saying that Punk vs. Jackson should have be on the UFC 225 main card. Let us know your thoughts on the matter in the comments section below. Do you want to write Forgive Messport? Get started today by signing up and submitting an article here, https colon slash slash www.givemessport.com slash writeforms.